Today's project is actually one I found in the dollar section at Target. I find a lot of my little projects there and it's perfect for Thanksgiving. So I know some people jump right from Halloween to Christmas, but I'm a big uh, believer in we need to do Thanksgiving first. So this week I'm going to be offering all sorts of um, cute, easy Thanksgiving projects for that transition time. So let me go back down so you could see my picture here. And um, this is what I found. And oh, good morning, Melanie. Um, so this is um, buildable. I saved a little tag here, buildable wood wall art. It was in the um, dollar section at Target. It was only $3. And I actually got a little bonus here because mine came with two of these. So I get two little uh, gathers here. So I'm gonna save one for another project. So I actually got a little bonus there. Um, but anywho, uh, I was already playing with this. So I kind of already know how I'm gonna set this up here. And so this is my plan, but hi, Ray. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Um, so this is my plan. So let's get to painting. I'm gonna set these aside. We're gonna start with us. And I am going to <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to do kind of a stain here on the back. And uh, oh my gosh, I can't get my paint open. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was like really stuck shut. Anywho, um, I'm just using some umber brown and I'm going to do a quick stain on the back. So this is like a cheat if you don't want to use wood stain, which can sometimes be kind of stinky and uh, sometimes it takes a while to dry. So I like to use paint instead. And I use just a little bit of paint and I use a big um, thick flat brush here. This one will probably work. And I'm gonna get it super wet with my water. So I'm getting it wet. And then what I do here is I just kind of pull some of this over and I'm just gonna add some water in it. So it's really liquid um, water down almost like watercolor. You can actually use your acrylics like this as a watercolor if you add water to them. Um, but for this, I just want it to be really thin and I am going to pull this across here. And if you're just joining me, um, this is Rose from the Painted Toad and I'm doing a quick little Thanksgiving gather sign. This is something I picked up uh, from the dollar section at Target. I had to think there, I almost said Michael's. <laughs> and I am just doing a quick stain here with some umber brown. And uh, it's, it is acrylic paint just watered down. So you can see, I kind of get a thin, a thin covering there. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just taking my paper towel here and I'm just kind of pulling this across. There we go. Okay, so that's all done. And then um, I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna paint this border. I don't know if you can see here, but this has a little flaw in it. It's kind of cracked right here. So I was thinking, and I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try, um, not right now, but I'm gonna try it later um, if we have time. I have this really cool rope that I found. So I thought this would make like a really cool border around the edge, and that'll kind of hide that um, the part right here that's split. So that is my thoughts with that. But let's get in here. I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna work on the little pieces here. So I have some really pretty um, ribbons that I got on clearance, um, some fall ribbons, and I think these were from Joanne Fabrics. So that is where I got them from. So I've got this one, which is where I'm gonna pull my colors from. It's just really pretty. It's got the pumpkins and the leaves. And then I also have this pretty blue and this really pretty, it's like a rusty, rusty brown, almost, yeah, rusty brown. So my plan is to match those colors, um, but I'm going to start with my little truck here. And I am going to do a blue truck because I love blue. It's my favorite color. 
It is my favorite color. And I'm using some cobalt blue. And if you're joining me, say hi. It's Rose from the Painted Toad. We're doing a really cute little truck. Um, truck and pumpkin. Pumpkin truck gather sign. And I'm planning to put this up for my Thanksgiving decorations. I don't jump right to Christmas decorations. I kind of wait until after Thanksgiving to decorate. And I know that's not everybody's, everybody's thing. Everybody likes to decorate at different times. I know a couple friends of mine like to have their tree up for Thanksgiving. But I'm kind of old fashioned like that. I like to, I like to save, uh, save Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving and do Christmas for Christmas. So I'm using some cobalt blue here. It's a really pretty shade of blue. And I am just going to paint. I'm not going to worry too much about um, the edges and stuff right now. I'm just going to paint it all blue and then I'll come around it. Um, and what I'm going to do for these smaller, these, I've got these two little, like these two little leaf pieces. So my plan is to kind of do it like my ribbon. See all those pretty colors in there? So that is my plan. We're going to paint them just like the ribbons here. And uh, I've got a couple shades of blue in there. And I actually pulled out a couple shades of blue that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to paint these in. And this will take me longer. I mean, I could just slap, you know, whatever color paint on there. But if you've been following me at all or know me at all, I'm all about the details. I love to do uh, extra work on the details because, I don't know, to me it just, it turns out cool when you, when you take that little bit of extra time. And it's enjoyable, too, for me. I like how everything kind of comes together. I think, let's see, we'll do this top leaf blue on this one. All right, I do have another little blue here since we're doing blue. I'll just stick with the blue. This is cerulean blue, <clears throat> slightly different shade. So if you want to say like a, a darker blue and a lighter blue. Um, and these are all um, artist acrylics. The ones I'm using right now, like one was Master's Touch, one was uh, Royal Lang Nickel. And you can do this with craft paints too. I'm one that really loves <clears throat> using the um, the artist acrylics because I like thicker paint. And that's just me. I do use some craft paints though. So what I'm getting right now is some orange. And this is really, really bright. And I want it to be a little bit, um, a little bit toned down. I don't want it so vibrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and if you don't know about color mixing, here's a little lesson on color mixing. I'm going to take a little burnt sienna. Um, another trick you can do to tone down is to add a little bit of black or a little bit of the dark brown or even gray. Gray will also tone down your colors. Let me get my little mixer here and let's see. Um, I was going to mix some of this into the orange just to tone it down. Just so it's not such a, like a really, really bright orange. I did a lot of bright oranges for my September decor, but I want to get more of a rustic toned down orange for this so just a little bit different and that was just the burnt sienna with a little bit of i think it was cadmium orange all right i don't know if you can see how nice that is it's just let me see if they'll come on camera focus there we go it's just a really pretty um really pretty orange, like a rustic orange. And that's exactly what I wanted. So I'll do a couple of these leaves, I think, with the rustic orange. I'm trying to see my other colors here. I also need brown and yellow. So I'll make sure that I have those other colors as well. There we go. So my little leaves. And then I'm also going to do the pumpkins in this rustic orange. So let me pull these over here, coming back to the little truck. And I may end up, um, this could use another, could use another layer of paint, um, just because the, the wood really soaks it up like a sponge.
Okay, I'm going to do a little something here, though. So um, I am going to take, I've got this, um, it's the cobalt blue, and I have my two blues here. So while I'm doing the second coat, I'm going to take a little bit of that lighter blue and just throw some of that in there. And it will get some different color tones on our truck here. So I like to do this a lot where I'll just throw the two colors on the brush at the same time. And just kind of let them mix. Okay, other colors. So um, I've got a brown leaf here. And it's a little bit darker brown. So I'm going to go with my umber brown with that. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to come in here and just do a little bit of brown on here. And then the stems are also brown. So I'll come back and do the stems in a minute. Oh, the color I'm using right here, it's called Yellow Deep, but for purposes of colors it's yellow orange so <laughs> or almost like a golden rod I guess nothing fancy sometimes the names like don't ever get hung up on the name of the paint or the brand of the paint just pick the colors you like that's what I do here so I'm going to take a little bit of this this yellow orange here I'm just going to call it yellow orange and just add a little bit in here not too much just so we can get some differences between these pumpkins here. So some of them will look um, a little bit of a different tone. I could bring that up closer. Let's do my tires down here. I'm just gonna use black on the tires pull some of that out all right I'm gonna let that dry and then let me do this um, gather in white really quick thank you for the suggestion ladies we'll get some white <clears throat> And I'm just going to grab another brush. I guess I could almost do the sponge over too, but I'll just use a brush for now. White usually gives you pretty good coverage. Some white. Yep, I think that is going to pop really nice. I think that'll look really good, especially against the, the brown here um, that I have for the background. Okay, I'm going to come in now and do a couple little details. I'm going to use a smaller brush, so I'm going to use a liner brush. So I'm just going to take my liner brush and I'm using the dark umber brown and I'm going to come up the stems with the dark brown, kind of following the same pattern on that ribbon I showed you. I'm just coming in real close so you can see this detail stuff I'm doing. There we go, my other little leafy. And then um, while I'm working with my brown details, I'll just bring this in. I'm doing these close just so you can really see all these um, smaller details because sometimes it's a little, sorry, just touching something up over there. Sometimes it's a little hard to see the details when I have it too far away. And I'm gonna use the brown here to just bring out some of these little lines that are already etched into the wood. Uh, 
of this. Um, I made kind of this orange here. I used it. It's um, burnt sienna and regular orange. I mixed it up so it kind of toned down the bright, bright orange. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on my liner brush and just kind of come in here and add a little orange on the uh, on my fenders here a little bit. Maybe like it's got a little bit of rust here. I'm just kind of throwing it on there. Nothing fancy. Just giving a little bit of a rusty look. And you could just leave it blue if you don't like the way that looks. It's not really coming across very nice on the camera, but it does look really good um, in person. It's definitely more orangey. Sometimes the camera doesn't do it justice. And then I can also take a little blue too. If you want to like tone it down a bit, you can take more of your blue in there and kind of mix it in. The blue and the orange will mix and make kind of a brownish color. So that is another option. So you can have some of it kind of rusty, some of it kind of brown. So I've got this little truck here. We've got Gather. And I was going to put these on either side. So I think that looks cute. There's like little sticky backs on here. That's what that white is. But um, I still need to do my wheel wells. But I wanted to show you the bow really quick. So I think I could do a bow in five minutes. So I've got my, um, I've got my ribbon here. And I'm planning to put a bow up here in this corner. Okay, so I'm going to cut two pieces of ribbon of my pumpkin -y ribbon. I'm going to use this. I've got this um, brownish color here. So I'm going to snip that. And this is wired ribbon, which does help because sometimes you need to be able to bend the wires to shape this later. So I'm going to... Let me just set this up here so you can see a little bit of both of what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to crisscross these, crisscross. I did these a little bit shorter because we want to be able to see all the ribbon colors. And then I also have this blue. I'm going to take a little bit of this blue. And then cut two pieces of this. Okay, so I've got all of these colors, and those are going to be colors in my ribbon. Now, if you want, um, if you want to kind of create, oh, do they call it dovetail? I'm not sure. So if you take these and kind of fold them, you can cut a little triangle here like that, and like that. And I'm using um, just my regular scissors because if you use your sewing scissors on this, it'll the wires will ruin your sewing scissors. So I would not use sewing scissors just because it has the wires in there. Okay, so we got the little dovetails. And then these are kind of small, so I'm just going to do a little edging here. This might be a little too tricky to dovetail. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna take a piece of jute string or twine, and I am going to take this way and tie it in the front because the ribbons will just gather nicer. 
I think. <laughs> can tell I haven't done one of these in a while. Let me see. Let's see if we can get it together. And then once you tie that, you can kind of knot it. And then with the wire, you can kind of spread these out and poof them out. Just kind of a quick and simple ribbon. You can trim the ends and get this side. And then at the beginning I was showing you, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know how it's gonna work because this rope is very, very thick. So I was gonna take some rope and glue it around the edge. So that's my plan. And once I get it done, I will post a picture so you can see. I'm just gonna hold this here just so you can see how it's gonna look. And this isn't by any means perfect. The tricky part will be getting the rope to stay down. So I'll probably use some clamps to do that until the glue is dry. What do you think of the rope edge? See, it's a little bit fussy here. Just because I don't have it cut down to size yet. But I was thinking of doing the rope around the edge. Obviously getting the corners to stay. And then our little bow up in the corner. So at least it gives you an idea of what the finished product will look like. Thanks for watching so much. And this is Rose from the Painted Toad reminding you to be creative, be artistic, and get connected at the Painted Toad. I will see you later. Bye.